All right, folks, the lantern has been sitting in the molasses path for overnight, and we're going to remove it, and I'm going to put it from up on the bench, and we're going to see what it looks like, and we'll do a little bit of scrubbing, and you'll be able to see once I move my camera around and get it situated on the bench, you'll see what it looks like, and, and we'll take it from there. So stay with me. All right, folks, so I just removed the lantern from the molasses path. And I had to resort to being indoors today because it's it's uh, extremely raining outside. So I'm hoping I'm getting enough light and I'm going to come in a little bit closer so you can see. The molasses actually takes some of the rust off and it also helps uh, give it a natural look as well. But we're going to wire brush this down and I'm going to use a, a light wire brush, a brass one, a small, looks like a toothbrush style. And I'm going to just lightly flake off some of the rust if there's much left to it. And uh, then I'll bring you back and we'll take a look at it. And then uh, we'll decide whether we're going to leave it in for another day. And we'll take it from there. So we'll be back. Alright folks, so I've been working on this for a little while now and I hope you can see some of what the bath had done and it removed a lot of rust off it, especially with me using the brass brush as well. And we're going to work on it a little bit more. There's a couple more places where I have to touch. but And then I think we're going to give it another night inside the bath and from there we will uh, take it from there so but I just wanted to show you one night in the bath and it's taken off a, a lot of rust and you can start to see it's starting to shine now and I think when we're all done with this we're gonna clean it up a little bit more and, and we're probably gonna uh, put some we'll uh, put some clear coat lacquer on it but we haven't gotten that far yet, so uh, we're taking it one step at a time. So this is the Embry molasses bath, and one day sitting in the molasses bath, and I've used the brass brush on it. So thanks for watching, and we'll keep you posted as things move on. All right, so here we have the Dietz lantern sitting in the lacquer thinner. We're going to get ready to pull this one out. This has been sitting a day and the paint's peeling right off it. So we're going to pull it out. I'm going to have to put gloves on and uh, then we're going to start rubbing it down and getting the old paint off it. So I'll be taking some pictures on this one just to cut down on the noise volume in, inside the garage. So uh, I'll have some pictures for you folks and you can follow along with that. Okay folks, so this is lantern number two that was in the lacquer thinner and I've taken most of the paint off. There's a little bit of paint left on it and as you can see, uh, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of uh, 220 and I'm going to do a little bit of wet sanding on it to finish taking the rest of the paint off and uh, we'll get almost everything else off and uh, 
Then we're going to get ready to get it in primer. You can see the bottom right there. I do have a couple dents, but this is a, this is just a um, just pre preserving it. I'm not going to uh, do a full restoration on it. We're just preserving these lanterns and uh, making them better. So uh, that's it. So this actually saw a couple submersions in the lacquer thinner. The first one I took off a lot of paint uh, and what happens is when you take, take it out after it sets up for a little while the paint hardens back up so you have to resubmerge it and uh, to take, you have to work it a little bit at a time to get the paint off. So most of it's off now and I think we're just going to wet sand it and, and that'll be it. So. Uh, it will be a couple days before I get back on this project because I'm, I'm going to uh, be doing something different. So uh, it will be a couple days before I have another upload on this. And uh, so uh, we'll see you in a couple days. Thanks, folks, for watching.